It's the day after the big storm on the south side of Buffalo. The sun is shining, but about six feet of snow has fallen in the last couple of days, and area residents are just beginning to dig out. What do you think of this one? This is worse than the one we had in uh, 2014. You got this giant mound of snow behind you. What, what, what do we got here? That's my car. <laughs> Travel is made even slower as transport trucks litter the streets, waiting for a major interstate highway to open back up. It, it, it's a, a heavy snow this time around, right? Yeah, when I dug into it, you could see the, the water, the, the blue color to it, so you know it's a real heavy snow. Like I told some of my neighbors, we're happy we got peaked roofs, or if we had little uh, ranches, we'd be in a lot of trouble. Sweat! How are you going to clear it away? It'll be by hand because the snow blower won't take that. And it's hard to get any plows now because everybody's busy. I contacted one and three of the four uh, vehicles are out. The heaviest snow fell around the Buffalo Bills Stadium. Sunday was supposed to be a home game, but the team is now focused on making sure players can get to the new game location two states over in Detroit, Michigan. Being in Buffalo is you get a lot of snow, then you snow blow your driveway and move on. <laughs> This is one of the streets that has yet to be touched by a plow, and as the winds change again tonight, more snow is in the forecast. From Orchard Park, I'm meteorologist Anthony Farnell. Go Bill!